My name is Oliver Kuletsky and you are listening to Class FM. It's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Yesterday you had a party here in Budapest. Uh, usually you always uh, have a proper sleep, sleep after the gigs or, or, or when you're on tour, you're in a hurry. And uh, I'm, um, this year I really played quite often. I played like 150 gigs this year. So it's like, yeah, between three or four times a week, which was um, quite hard, but at the end it's like, it's a job I want to do the most in the world, so I'm like he really happy to do that. And yeah, sometimes it's it's stressy, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so far, you were here in Hungary with two live gigs with your beautiful wife, friend. Yeah. Yesterday uh, there was a DJ gig. So uh, when will you come back with your your live <laughs> band, the Koleckis? <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, maybe next summer, maybe next summer. Um, I think, um, uh, yeah, I have a like, really good gig with friend at uh, Balaton Sound. Uh, yes, and after it, it was Be My Lake and this year in Balaton Sound, uh, the ah, year before. Two years ago. Yes, ah, yeah, both like that, yeah. And, um, yeah, there were, like, really a lot of people, and uh, we mentioned that they know our songs, like Hypnotized or and Bow, uh, and, wow, yeah, it was, like, really really a good feeling that we are like some kind of small famous here in Hungary. No, it's a, it's a big deal in Hungary, trust me. Uh, so you, you're doing your own record label, you're doing, doing a tour, you're, you're producing stuff. Uh, do you try to divide your energy and time equally between those three or sometimes it's, there are preferences that something goes first, something is second only? Yeah. Um, like, sometimes it's not easy, so... Um, Beneath the week, I'm um, in the studio working uh, on new tracks. Um, at the weekend, um, yeah, I'm DJing, and I have a really good team at my label, Three for Talent. So um, they are doing a really good job there. Yeah, sometimes my wife, friends, complaining, and oh, you don't have any time. Come home. We want to have dinner together. And yeah, it's like a, it's a question of good time management to handle that. Okay, before you established your own uh, label, Still for Talent, uh, you had really good releases at really good labels. Uh, both the audience uh, and the industry said really positive things about you and your, and your work. Uh, what was missing? What, what, wh why did you find it necessary to make your own label? Um, I, um, I always um, uh, want to be my own boss and to have my own business. And I don't want to have like some A&R from some label tell me uh, you have to change this in your song and you have to change that, uh, otherwise I won't release it. So I was like, I want to do my own music as I want to do it. So the best way was to found my own label, yeah. Okay, uh, your catalog contains about uh 20, 20 something artists, 20, 20, 22, 25, something like that? Yeah, 25. 25 yeah, 25. yeah uh, I guess you get a lot of promos every day. Uh, you're trying to, trying to uh, keep it as small as possible and that's why there's only 20, 25, or you get lots and lots of, of bad stuff and, and it's, it's hard to find good, uh, good musicians and that's why it's only 25 in your, in your label. Um, yeah, it's like so many bad stuff coming every day. Since there is uh, like uh, like rapid share, or you send it like every uh, 13 year old dude thinks he can make music and uh, sends to our um, uh, office email address. Yeah, it's like how to find. I have like uh, two good guys at our office, and they hearing every day all the uh, all the promos, and then they give me the only the best ones, so I can decide. And I think like. 25 artists is, is a good size. I don't want to get like universal or something. We want to still like a small cool label. 
uh, a couple of weeks ago I was talking to, to Roger Sanchez and, and he told me that uh, though he's not, not in the mainstream and not in the pop side of electronic dance music but he, he still feels this huge huge EDM boom that went through the, through the world in the last uh, recent years uh, because somehow it puts the spotlight uh, generally on electronic dance music. Do you, all, do you also feel that, that, uh, that your fan base grew, new, new faces are coming uh, and they are not just interested in all the, all the, all the bullshit top 40 tracks but but in yeah. techno, deep house, new house, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think where um, Roger Sanchez, um, uh, he's coming from America, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's something different. So in um, in in the USA, it was the last year, like growing, growing, growing. In Germany, it's big since 20 years, <laughs> you know. So um, um, and we have like really good um, uh, electronic music base. We have good clubs we have like a long culture um, so um, it's still growing in Germany but it's not like uh, it was in the USA like popping up uh, the last years yeah okay cool just one more last word about your new album which is uh, you posted on Facebook it's coming out on April yeah yeah, yeah uh, uh, the good old Oliver Kletzky material with, with with guest stars with with lots of instruments or something new is coming um, it's like a half-half. It's like, um, of course, there are um, uh, a few new singers because I love to work with vocals. So they are like uh, vocal features, but there are also um, there are also some more dancey tracks, more more tracks for the dance floor, and there are like uh, three hip hop tracks on it. So that's quite special. Cool, and I hope you, you're going to have a, a tour with, yeah, uh, with your album. Of course, and I definitely will come to Budapest next summer. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Oliver, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm really pleased to meet you. Thanks. Thanks.